Welcome back. So now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the well verification process to see if our hardware actually supports the proper if our hardware actually supports what we want to do. So we'll need to ensure that it's actually capable of this sort of setup. Please keep in mind, as I have stated before, if your hardware does not support it, uh, you are wasting your time with these tutorials, quite literally. And you would be wasting your times with you would be wasting your time with any tutorial out there on the net if your hard if you do not have the proper hardware support. Because, to my best knowledge, it will not work without proper hardware support. Okay, so first thing is first you need to become root. You become root by typing in sudo su or just su, depending on your setup, one of the two will work. And then just type in your password. Next up that we next thing that we need to do is uh, to type in cat and then proc CPU info. And press enter. This is gonna give you a full listing in regard to your CPU. It's gonna tell you everything that there is to know about it. But you can get the model here. It doesn't matter whether you're running an AMD or an Intel CPU, you will find the model number here. Take that model number and then go to the AMD or Intel website and verify that for Intel that they support VT-D or for AMD that they support AMD-VI as I have stated previously. But this is where you can get the CPU model number. Next up, we need to verify certain flags here. And for Intel, you will type in grep VMX. And if you get the output like this or something like this, as long as the VMX flag is included within the flag section, you're good to go in that regard. And for AMD, you will simply type in SVM. I don't have an AMD processor, so I won't get, uh, I won't get any output. If you don't have these flags, for your Intel or AMD CPU, again, the setup is pointless. Uh, before you check the flags, go onto the net and verify that you have that your CPU supports VT dash D. Oops, VT da, VT dash D or AMD dash VI. Without them, this is not gonna work. So you need to do both checkups, like this in the terminal and out there on the net. You're checking for two different things, trust me. Uh, with the with the flag grepping, this is just the VTX the flag that you're checking, which is not like sufficient. You need to you need the full VTD enabled as well. Same goes for AMD or Intel. It's just a matter of different naming conventions. Now. In addition to this, you also need to verify that your motherboard supports VTD or AMD VI. Uh, you need to go out onto the manufacturer's website in order to verify this for the motherboard. If you, it, this information is surprisingly difficult to find. It was for me anyway. Uh, if you can't find it in the net, if you can't find it in the forums for the specific model of your motherboard, uh, go ahead and ask them. Like if it's Asus, if it's Gigabit, if it's whatever, uh, just go go ahead and send them send them an email, specify your model number, and ask them, hey, does my mother does my motherboard support VTD for Intel or AMD VI for AMD? And hopefully you will get a response. But the information should be listed somewhere within the motherboard's tech specs. Should be. As I said, I've had some difficulty finding it. If you can't find it, write to them and ask them. Okay, now that we have actually managed to verify that, and if you have verified that, feel free to proceed. Otherwise, uh, feel free to simply give up and to go and go and find suitable hardware. The good news is that, su that suitable hardware is not too expensive to find. It's fairly cheap these days. Okay, so I'm going to break the tutorial here, and I'll continue on in the follow-up.